has just topped Pulp Fiction for the tastiest looking burger I have ever seen in a movie. The very first thing I thought of after watching the menu was, I want that freaking burger. Hey movie buffs, I'm Jack Benner and welcome to my review of The Menu. The Menu is a new black comedy slash culinary thriller directed by Mark Mylott starring Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, Ray Fiennes, Hong Chow, and John Leguizamo. The film follows a young couple played by Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt and other food admirers are traveling to dine at an exclusive restaurant where the head chef played by Ray Fiennes has prepared a very particular menu. As the night continues with each course, things get intense and shocking. I've been hearing great reviews from the menu from film festivals such as Fantastic Fest and TIFF and as well as the week of its release on November 18th and hearing the reviews made me more excited to see this movie along with the talent involved, intriguing concept and trailers and I finally saw the menu a few days ago and I am so glad I did because this is one of the best movies I have seen this year. This is an amazing thriller that floored me with its dark comedy, satire, suspense and thrills. Loved it. Let's start with the pros. The first thing to mention is the terrific cast ensemble without a single weak link. Over the years since The Witch, Split, Last Night in Soho, and The Northman, along with TV with The Queen's Gambit on Netflix, which I'm excited to watch someday, Anya Taylor-Joy has certainly proven to be a super talented and versatile actress, choosing great scripts and giving great performances, and her performance here is no exception. She's basically the character the audience follows throughout the film and a great character to side with. When she's at this restaurant, she's not sure about the food quality, finding it pretentious and not noteworthy. And when she's also experiencing the craziness that night, she truly sells her emotions and Anya Taylor-Joy does a terrific job at playing her character. And Nicholas Holt is excellent as this so-called food expert, where he's this big food fanboy and admirer of Ray Fine's character. And he's constantly going on and on about what makes great food and how great of a chef Ray Fine's character is. And the cockiness and douchiness Nicholas Holt brings to this character makes him so entertaining to watch. And I feel like Nicholas Holt is kind of an underrated actor. I feel like he doesn't get enough credit in my opinion. And one of my favorite supporting performances here was Hong Chow as the maitre d' of the restaurant. I thought she brought a great combination of deadpan line delivery, passive aggressiveness, and intimidation. All those together made for a great and entertaining performance from her. And she's having quite a year, not only with this movie, but we also got The Whale coming out this December, which is a movie I'm very excited to see. Not only Brendan Fraser's performance, a lot of buzz surrounding him, but hers as well, a possible best support supporting actress nomination for her and the whale. So I'm really excited to see this actress popping up in more films. I think she does have a lot of talent. And John Leguizamo is also really good as this washed up actor who still thinks he's popular today. And is it me or are we in some sort of John Leguizamo renaissance? He was Bruno in Encanto, he's in this movie, and he's in Violent Night which came out this weekend, the new Christmas action movie. And I'm happy to see more of John Leguizamo showing up in movies. Welcome back, Sid the Sloth. But the actor who steals the show in this movie is Ray Fiennes, who is absolutely incredible in this movie and in one of his best performances. And that's certainly no surprise since he's been giving great performances for so long in movies such as Schindler's List, Voldemort and the Harry Potter franchise, The Grand Budapest Hotel. Just from his first scene was his commanding presence, intimidation, ego, and status. You can't take your eyes off him and he owns it in every scene. He's unpredictable with his nonchalant and elegant line delivery and adding a surprise amount of depth and nuance to his character. This is definitely one of the most fascinating and entertaining characters I have seen this year. And I would love to see Ray Fiennes get an Oscar nomination for this performance, but it might not happen, but he was so good here. Now, Mark Mylod has a background in TV with Game of Thrones and Succession. And after watching the menu, I'm very excited to see what movie he directs next in the future. This is a great looking movie that's atmospheric, selling the location of the secluded island and the set design with the fancy exclusive restaurant is all top notch. And this movie is also very funny with great use of dark comedy. And I never felt like the dark comedy was distracting from the intense moments of the film. And there's one moment of dark comedy where something happens to one of the guests at the restaurant and then it cuts to a character slicing in the food. I was like, I probably shouldn't laugh at that, 
but I did and I feel bad for it. And something else about the editing I love in this movie is when they show close-ups of the food and listed the ingredients. And when they first did that, I was like, okay, that's how they're introducing the food and it looks really good. And other times they do the text in this movie for comedic purposes. It was absolutely brilliant. And this is coming from someone who likes to watch Food Network shows with my mom. We watch stuff like Chopped, Beat Bobby Flay, and I binge watch a lot of Hell's Kitchen or Gordon Ramsay. And when the madness ensues, this movie becomes an intense and suspenseful movie. And Mark Mylod definitely does a great job of building tension and increasing the stakes of this movie while being an unpredictable movie with twists and turns. I'm just so glad I can just shove away predicting what's going to happen next and just enjoy this movie, wondering what's going to happen next. What's brilliant about the screenplay of The Menu is not only the great balance of humor and tension, this is also a smart and clever satire with great social commentary. How this movie not only goes after the rich with these pretentious snobs, but for people in the food industry, whether it's a famous chef, pretentious food critics, or admirers think they have the skills what it takes to be a chef, and I felt like the social commentary elevated this movie, making it more than just an ordinary thriller. And it made it, this movie feel a lot more clever, thought-provoking, and nuanced, while also tackling what makes great food and what happens when you lose the passion for your craft. As for issues or nitpicks, I guess one minor issue I would have with the menu is at the beginning, it does take a bit of a while to get going when they first arrive at the island, but that's about it. In conclusion, The Menu is an amazing culinary thriller from start to finish that combines all the right ingredients. See what I did there? From dark comedy, interesting social commentary, fantastic building of tension, and a terrific cast ensemble. If you're looking for a good thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat, definitely go see The Menu. And if you've been hearing great reviews for this movie and it looks interesting to you, I highly recommend you go see The Menu. And I would also recommend this movie if you're a foodie or if you have a passion for a food or an aspiring chef. So definitely go see The Menu if you have the time. I highly recommend it. And now to grade it, I am going to give The Menu 4.5 stars out of 5. And A, this is such a tense well-directed, sharply written, engaging, and unpredictable film. And it's definitely one of my favorite movies I have seen this year so far. I'm afraid this movie might not get a single Oscar nomination due to the competition, because I would love for this movie to get some Oscar love at Oscar nominations morning. Pitcher, even though it does seem like a long shot at the moment, this movie getting an original screenplay nomination would be awesome. I would love for an Oscar nomination for Ray Fiennes, either leading or supporting. And I am so excited to watch this movie again on Blu-ray when it comes out. And to quote Anton Ego at the end of Ratatouille in his review, I will be returning soon, hungry for more. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on the menu if you've seen it? Do you agree? Disagree with my review? Or if you haven't seen it, are you looking forward to film or not? Let me know below. Did you enjoy hearing my thoughts on this movie? If yes, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new here. And don't forget that notification bell for my next upload. It really means a lot. And until the next video, I'm Jack Benner and look forward to another movie review.